Hey, what is going on everyone? Josh Quinone is here and today we are going to be doing some gaming on the One Plus Pad. This is powered by that MediaTek Dimensity 9000 chipset. So we're gonna see just how well this tablet performs when playing multiple games at a time, just one after another. And we will also be uh, keeping track of battery life. We are currently at 99% battery life. So we'll see how battery drains throughout this video. We will also be keeping track of time currently 11, 25 p.m. By the end of this video, we will see what time it is and see what our total gameplay is as well. Now, I will be using a wireless gaming controller for some of these games because I mean, I can. And that's one thing I love about these kinds of devices that you can pair it up with a wireless controller like this to make the experience just that much better. And for the games we are going to be playing today, we are going to start off with some Asphalt 9, maybe take it into some Call of Duty, Fortnite, Mario Kart, and then maybe end it with some Pokemon Unite. Not going to be too much talking in this video, just basically me playing games and then maybe giving my thoughts throughout the video. And then of course that game engine does turn on as soon as you go into a game and then you can bring it in or actually bring it down by simply swiping down the top corner like this. I do have the pro gamer mode turned on. You have uh, three choices here, low power mode, balance mode, or pro gamer mode. And I do have that pro gamer mode on because I wanna get the best performance possible out of this tablet here when playing these games. You can also control the brightness, uh, game focus mode, notification screen, recording, touch optimization, quick startup, orientation, lock, game filters, voice changers, volume settings, and system update. But this is it right here. And it also lets us know the frame rate that we are playing. So around that 60 frames per second right there. But let's go in and get this game started. I am done talking here. Let's go into a game. Get that Chevy. And I love that the speakers are nice and loud on this tablet as well. I'm not sure if the mic is picking it up as loud as I am hearing it here in person, but it sounds really, really good. And it just looks good on this really nice display. Look at those graphics right there. Absolutely beautiful. I think we took the win on this one. There we go, there we go, first place. <laughs> so far performing good, that was just the first time around. Let's go ahead and get into the next game here. I'm going to miss out on that. Check it later. All right, all right, looking good, looking good so far. Let's do this. Claim all that later. We're just here to do some gaming. Next, go ahead and keep using the Camaro. All right, here we go. Waterside. I can't get over how good the graphics look on this display right here. This is a 144 hertz display, very colorful, very vibrant. Although I know the game itself is not running at 144 hertz, but still wanted to mention that anyways. Ah, I missed it. Got him. Oh, did I get first? Yes, I did. <laughs> first place. There we go. Let's go and take it into the next game. As you can see, Asphalt Legends runs great on this device right here. We're gonna go ahead and take it into some Call of Duty Mobile. And for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the wireless controller that we have right here to use it for this game, just to make the gaming experience that much better. Whoa, 
Look at the colors on this. They are just super vibrant. They just pop really, really good. But I'm gonna go ahead and let it load up here. Enemy All right, here we go. Getting into the first game here. Ooh. <laughs> Losing Bravo. Oh my God, there's so many of them. <laughs> I can't get in there. So far, this is running super smooth though, I gotta say. Doing the best I can. It's not easy playing behind the screen. <laughs> or behind the camera, I should say. Ooh. That's right, we won. <laughs> Next round, switching sides. So just to let you know, if you are playing with a wireless gaming controller like this, it will pair you up with other players that are also using controllers. So you're not really gonna have the upper hand over anybody. Bravo. 
Currently playing at 60 frames per second, as you can see there. Lost this one. Lost Bravo. We're capturing C. We captured Charlie. Enemy in touch. Bravo. Lost A. Enemy contact. Enemy down. Enemy down. Sniper. Oh my goodness, this guy with the sniper. Again. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not that good. So that was two games right there. Game ran very smooth on here. And it actually doesn't even seem to be hot at all. It's not warming up or anything like that. So still running good. Let's go ahead and go into the next game. And let's go ahead and play some, uh, let's play some Fortnite here. All right, so jumping into a game of Fortnite here. Let's see how far I can get. I'm only gonna play one game of this. So let's hope I can get, uh, let's hope I can get pretty far. At least within the first top 10. I don't know, let's see. This is the new season. We do have a new portion of the map, which I'm not the most familiar with yet. So <laughs> let's see how good I do, especially playing behind camera here. Let's go ahead and get into this. So far, very smooth. See, I'm just gonna land right in the middle here of this new map. Not even sure where to go, to be honest, but I see a chest down here, so I'm gonna start down here. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> it's backwards with the controller, so I press right, it goes left. Okay, that's okay. We're going to use it like this anyways. Whoa. I feel like I hear somebody. Oh, 
Whoa. Okay. Not sure what that does. Huh. Guess it didn't really do anything for me. Let's see, what do I want? What do I want? Got some action going on over here. Saying there's a chest, but I don't see it. Got him. Now I usually play no build mode. I thought I had it on no build mode, but I guess not. It's all right, I'm not the best builder, so. It's all good. Oh, kind of stuttered there a little bit. Got him. Ooh, I haven't got to use one of these. Let's see, I'll get rid of the shotgun. Okay, can I get back up there? Oh, that's cool.
Not used to the button layout. Everything's backwards, seems like. Oh no! Ooh. Oops. Take a quick look at the time and battery life. So it is, we're at 87% battery life. It is 11.54 PM. It's been a little over 30 minutes now, or about 30 minutes. It's starting to stutter a little bit. All right, I don't know if that's my internet or the tablet itself. Got him. Shouldn't be giving yourself away like that, dude. Let's go look for some peat. Ah, <laughs> no, <laughs> let me try this. Got him. Whoa. 
Oh! Oh wait, I need to switch guns! Oh! <laughs> I got stuck in the middle. Well, plays 10th, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and switch it up to the next game. Uh, the tablet, it actually is starting to feel just a little bit warm. Like, very, very little. Not even anything that's going to make me uncomfortable while playing this or anything like that. So, so far, not doing too bad. Let's go ahead and go into the next game. Let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do some Mario Karts. All right, here we go. Jumping into a race here. I do have the music turned off because I do not want to get copyright strike by Nintendo. But let's go ahead and do this race right here. Loving the colors on this. Nice and vibrant. Okay, okay. Let me do it like this. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, got third place. <laughs> well, as you can see, Mario Kart does run smooth on this device. Even after all the gaming that we already did, tablet is starting to feel just a little bit more warm. Let's go ahead into the next game here, going into Pokemon Unite. And we'll go ahead and turn the tablet this way. All right, so jumping into a quick game here with some Pokemon Unite. I did have to wait for a quick update before actually starting the game. So just keep that in mind when looking at our final time at the end of this video and also battery life. Let's go and jump into a game here. Got Charizard starting off with Charmander. Here we go. Seems to be running smooth.
get my health up. But as you can see, Pokemon Unite definitely running smooth on here. Not a whole lot of action going on with this game, but I still wanted to test it out a little bit anyways. Got about three minutes of gameplay here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here because this is gonna go on for another seven minutes. But as you can see, definitely smooth gameplay with Pokemon Unite. But there it is. The time is now 12, 12. So just a little short of an hour almost of gameplay, 82% battery life left. Overall, I think gaming performed pretty well on the one plus pad no problems here just warmed up a little bit but y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below what do you think about the overall gameplay let me know if you did like this video and find it helpful make sure to give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come thanks so much for watching this is josh quinones i will see you on the next one peace out